Hi. So my cold is still there. I went to the hospital. It's a little bit better now, but whatever. Uh, I had planned to make this video more about myself, like kind of um, talking about my background and stuff. I'll still do that, but I keep messing up, so I'll just go more free flow this time, I guess. So I'm a student. I study in a college. Um, I live in a hostel. The main reason I joined the college was to get away from home. Uh, in India, parents are quite suffocating to live with, at least at a young age, when you don't really have any say in your family. And uh, for better or for worse, I think I matured a little bit earlier, so it uh, gave me a lot of stress and uh, mental problems. So it was nice to get out of home and uh, kind of live, you know, a life. Uh, uh, normal life, I guess. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, the other thing was, I wanted to talk about me being in love with video games. I've always been, uh, since I was a child, I have been, uh, have grown with computers and uh, technology. You know, be it smartphones or those old phones, laptops, whatever. I love them all, and. Uh, Video games are the entertainment media. I, I mean, the entertainment media of uh, theaters is movies and uh, uh, written books is novels and comic books for printed media. I mean, uh, illustrated. And for uh, computers, it's video games. So naturally, I am in love with them. Um, I am very interested in video game development as well. Uh, I will talk about it maybe now, maybe later, let's see. Uh, but the point was that uh, I love video game development and uh, I mean I don't love video game development because it's a very tedious process but I still am in love with video game development. Uh, I love it in relationship if you will. Um, because of the nature of video games, uh, this also makes me uh, uh, makes it a requirement to learn other art forms such as painting, uh, music, and what not storytelling. I am uh, good at two of them, and the least uh, proficient in music. Uh, I have a online sequencer account. If you don't know, online sequencer is basically a tool that you can use to. Uh, make uh, very simple kind of music even very complicated if you're good enough uh, music in uh, a website I'll link it in the description uh, so if you want to you can check it out but yeah um, so yeah I have been really wanted to get this out of my chest like wanting to talk about my video game obsession um, but yeah and also about myself it's not like I don't have real life friends but uh, I do feel the uh, I mean I do still feel lonely it's kind of weird I mean obviously it is not uh, uh, hard to figure out that it's mostly romantic uh, connection that I lack or that I uh, am eager for I guess uh, what's the word there's a word right that long right uh, it's a romantic uh, connection that I long for so yeah, I it's it's the meme right where guys are like using every app in the world to date. So I guess uh, hi YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have been seeing as I said uh, in the previous video that uh, I was inspired by like ASMR roleplay videos to make this channel because I mean first of all. The fact that someone else, I mean, I don't know if uh, you are aware of this or not, or maybe, uh, you know, you are going through the same place as I am, but it's very uh, weird that we have this kind of barrier between guys and girls, or any gender, honestly, that there, you know, exists a very weird differentiation. Like, it's in our head that we think, but there isn't, right? And every time I see an example that we are the same, it just makes my heart happy I mean it warms my heart uh, so yeah so seeing these ASMR roleplay videos I mean 
I wouldn't imagine in my wildest dream that someone would do this for someone else especially but you know people do this and it's insane because uh, at some point I was going through very bad uh, you know falling off with a friend and uh, this helped me a lot someone just it's weird like it's obviously they don't know me it's kind of a pretend play but at the same time it does feel very I can't explain but I hope you understand it feels less lonely I guess I'm also very infatuated with the voices especially voices of women I mean it's just so addictive um, I mean I, I guess it's the consequence of uh, hearing so much uh, ASMR audios but uh, it is a kind of um, very what's the word it's a word used in uh, Casino Royale the James Bond film and I like using it a lot um, or is it maybe I'm wrong mesmerized is the word uh, but yeah uh, sometimes I talk really weird so I hope that's not a problem or anything I mean most probably no one is listening to this anyways but and if you are still listening to this, I hope that this is not a problem. I mean, I assume that it probably isn't a problem or you would have closed the video a long time ago. But yeah. This one seems to be going over 6 minutes long. I don't really usually make videos this long. Also, if you couldn't tell, my first language is not English. Uh, English is actually my third language. So yeah. Uh, I am still trying to get my English better in my college everyone speaks English because uh, India is a multi language country so English is the preferred language when uh, people from different language speaking states come together but yeah I do eventually plan to put a role play audio here as well I just don't know how to do it I mean I tried it a few times I didn't have a good mic then so I didn't really go through with it but yeah the longer videos I make the problem is that the more I have to listen to myself which I have gotten used to it compared to before but uh, it takes time it's time consuming but other than that it's not a big deal uh, last time I mentioned that I don't like to stay around negativity and uh, I wanted to elaborate on it a little bit so basically I don't uh, like unnecessary negativity in my life so and it's not that I'm you know li trying to live in some kind of bubble uh, I have been you know in internet arguments and seeing news that's you know just horrifying and it still comes up quite often and I just don't see a point in it you know I don't use Twitter I don't use Instagram that much I try to keep off of these type of debates, unnecessary debates honestly, as much as possible, uh, which leaves me kind of behind in a lot of current affairs, uh, whether it's important or not, but uh, yeah, I, I am fine with that, more or less. Um, yeah, I am not sure, I mean, are you listening to this? Is, is there anyone else who is listening to this other than me and my other account? Um, I would love to know why are you listening to this is it the same reason as mine did you just stumble upon it yeah usually the reason I listen to videos is to work like I just put a video on like an ASMR video I mean and just listen to it I'm not, it doesn't even have to be ASMR it can be any video I just listen to them like while I work but yeah I will also mention some things that I have to do for tomorrow uh, so this is kind of weird but I am trying to practice lucid dreaming uh, I don't know how much crazy this makes me sound I'm not a crazy person I swear to god I'm just a normal guy like you uh, because I, every time I mention lucid dreaming to anyone they just look at me like I'm like some yogi tantric kind of person or maybe I smoke I, uh, by the way I don't smoke or drink alcohol or anything like I'm completely clean uh, and I kind of take pride in that it's not like I uh, dislike people who do that, but 
मोस्ट ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स डोंट आई मीन मोस्ट ऑफ माई क्लोज फ्रेंड्स डोंट और एटलीस्ट डोंट डू इट रेगुलरली सो वट एल्स ओ यार आई वॉज सींग दैट फॉर टूमोरो आई हैव सम प्लान्स आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट वर्क आई मीन कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन माई वीडियो गेम सो दिस आई एम वीडियो गेम डेवलपर एंड आई एम वर्किंग ऑन लाइक अ स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट आई फ्राउ so i'll i want to work on it a little bit i also have to work on my college courses so there's that i also need to work on the lucid dreaming thing that i was saying so it's basically uh, a list of things that i have to remember uh, basically it relies on good memory uh, the idea is to wake up in the middle of the dream i mean not wake up as in wake up in the real life Uh, or in the real world, I should say, but rather wake up in the dream world. Uh, so the idea is that you remember that you have to do something and just trigger you. It is a very cool story actually. It's 11 minutes right now. I think I can cram one story. I do have to. Uh, I'm actually waiting for my shaver to charge. Uh, what's it called? Not a shaver. Shavers. Uh, I meant uh, trimmer. Right, I am waiting for my trimmer to charge. It's not manscape if you were wondering, but yeah, I was. Uh, so I am just waiting for it to charge. It doesn't seem to work, uh, but yeah, if it works, I'll uh, shave and uh, um, yeah. So th- the story behind lucid dreaming. I mean, not behind lucid dreaming, but there is a story associated with it. It's not a story. It's a uh, real life thing that happened. So. There is a story where this girl or guy goes to sleep and they dream about a rose and then when they they pick that rose in their dream and when they wake up they have that rose in their hand and this is a problem that real life um dreamologists i guess faced that how do you prove to people that you can lucid dream because lucid dream is a thing that happens to everyone or at least a lot of people uh so it it was just a matter of proving that it can be done and it can be practiced and the way they did it is similar like right? you need to bring something from your dream to the real world and the way they did it was that when you sleep your eyeballs are still in your control so when you sleep your eye movements mimic the movement or i should say the eye movement that you are making in your dreams so they instructed the they called uh, i forget forgot the word but it's a uh, it's a word uh, similar to astronaut that they but they instead of uh, going to the astra or the uh space they go to the dream world uh so those knots i i'm just going to call them astronauts for now uh those astronauts were instructed to make specific eye movements during a certain period in their sleep and they recorded that eye movement that calculated non random eye movement and that was the proof that lucid dreaming can be done and it's a normal thing to do uh it's a practice based thing so it will probably come to me sometime but i will have to spend a lot of dedication to it which is i mean i have to dedicate to it a lot uh, or spend a lot of time to it which is a uh, time consuming and uh, takes a lot of effort on my part as well but uh, i think it is uh, worth it so yeah, i'm just trying to uh, hone that thing. Okay. At some point, I'll also make a video about qualities in me that I'm not proud of. Uh, in short, I would like to say that I have been uh, manipulative because by nature I'm a little bit over understanding and over analyzing human nature all the time, and uh, intentionally or not, that leads to me being able to understand. me saying what should i say to get a certain result you know and uh, that's not a good thing to do obviously uh that's i think the one i'm most ashamed of as i said i'll talk about it probably later in the video but i think 
I mean, this is unlike a dating app or anything. I can be as upfront as I want, right? Uh, no one is listening anyways right now, so that's even better. But the point is that I want to be upfront about these things. I mean, some people look for this. I mean, the other thing that I have is I'm very clingy, like very, very clingy. If I attach to a person, it seems like I can't detach. Again, normally a bad thing, but some people look for it. Some people don't. So being upfront about it, I think is pretty good. Um, but yeah. Also, I have an Instagram channel. I mean, Instagram page, I guess. It's in my description, but I haven't uh, put any photos in it. Like I have a couple photos. They're not very good. I'm not exactly the best in taking photos, but I will soon post more. So yeah, wait for them, I guess. I am kind of tired, so I guess I'll close it for now. It's over 60 minutes. Oh, okay. I did not expect it to be this long. It doesn't feel like I have been talking for 60 minutes. Oh, sorry. That was... Huh. I mean, I'm moving around in my room, so it's making noises. I wonder what will happen to this channel. I hope that uh, people... Uh, kind of interact with me it will feel nice obviously i'm also planning to open a twitch channel very soon like i will set it up hopefully within this within the end of this week so like three four days uh, i do want to twitch stream both for gaming purposes and just chatting so yeah i guess i have to go now i really don't want this thing. it's kind of weird i'm just talking to myself but it feels like i'm talking to someone else and uh, it really really feels nice i don't want to stop feels like i haven't talked like this in such a long time all the thoughts that have been in my head now just getting an opportunity to seep out it feels nice kind of like a detoxification anyways i guess i'll go i hope you have a nice day